سبحانه وتعالى وقالوا لن يدخل الجنه الا من كان هودا او نصارى and they say who say the people of the book the jews and the christians لن يدخل الجنه الا من كان هودا او نصارى nobody will be enter able to enter jannah paradise except who is a jew or a christian dil ka amaniyo hum this is their wishful thinking this is their own thinking these are the ideas framed by themselves kul hatu burhana kum in kuntum sadiqin ask them tell them to bring forth your argument what proof you have bring forth bible bring forth torah and tell us where is it is written in the in the torah kul hatu burhana kum in kuntum sadiqin if you are truthful bala man aslama wajhahu lillah wa huwa muhsinun why not whosoever submits his face and face here means will whosoever has submitted his face that is his will to allah subhanahu wa taala wa huwa muhsinun and he is doing it out of sincerity not hypocritically not apparently only muhsinun that in the most handsome and beautiful way falahu ajruhu inda rabbihi wa la khawfun alayhi wa la hum yahzunun for him is his reward ensured and it is with his lord and on them there will be no fear nor they will have to grieve wa qalat al yahud wa laysat al nasara ala shay now just note these two ayat in the previous aya they said only the jews and the christians will enter paradise here the dispute among themselves so they became one when they were against muslims but then when you know they were between themselves they were quarreling with each other also wa qalat al yahud wa laysat al nasara ala shay and the jews say that the christians are not on anything they have no basis they are baseless they have no deen wa qalat al nasara laysat al yahud wa ala shay in the same manner the christians say that the jews are on no basis they have no ground under their feet their religion is baseless wa hum yatlun al kitab although they are reading the same book the old testament is common between the two the jews don't believe in the new testament but you know the major part of the bible that is actually the old testament wa hum yatlun al kitab and both of them are reading and reciting the same book kadhalika qala al ladina la ya'lamuna mithla qawlihim the same thing was said by those people who know nothing that is the pagan arabs the ummi yin who had no book whatsoever they also said that we are on the right path neither the jews nor the christians none of them is on the right path misla qalihim they also said this the same thing like they are saying fallahu yahkumu bainahum yawm al qiyamati fi ma kanu fi yakhtalifun so allah will decide and judge between them on the day of judgment about all those things in which they were differing from each other wa man aslamu mimman mana masajid allah ya yuskara fi hasmuhu wa sa'a fi kharabiha because there was a mention of the pagan arabs here in the previous ayah now you know the question of baitullah that is being discussed wa man aslamu mimman mana masajid allah in a generalized way it is this ayah is saying who is more unjust than those who forbid from allah's mosques that the name of allah be taken there remembered there wa safi kharabiha and they strive for their ruin that was the reference to the quraish of bakka who were forbidding the muslims they could not enter masjid al haram they couldn't make umrah they couldn't do hajj they couldn't go and make zikr of allah subhanahu wa taala over there they do they couldn't go and pray to allah subhanahu wa taala over there wa man aslamu mimman mana masajid allah ya yuskara fi hasbuhu wa safi kharabiha ulaika ma kana lahum an yadkhuluha illa khaifin these people actually they don't have the right to enter these mosques except with fear instead of having you know that they they have become the guardians of this mosque of allah subhanahu wa taala baitullah masjid al haram 
these Quraysh, these Mushrikeen, these idolaters, these idol worshippers, these pageants, they have become the guardians of the house of Allah, which was built by Ibrahim and Ismail for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So they should actually be in a position not of guardianship, but even if they enter, they should enter with fear, not with authority. لَهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا خِزْيٌ وَلَهُمْ فِي الْآخِرَةِ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ For them, there is humiliation in this world, and in the hereafter, there will be very grievous torment and punishment. 